In fact, uh, we go down to the third division and we uh, catch up with this staggering rise of Fulham. They went to Stockport County yesterday. Fulham, in fact, are in the darker shirts this time, not their usual white. Fulham in the darker shirts. The commentator is Gerald Sinstat. The pictures are Granada's. Boyd's header through to Earl. Earl pulling it back. Over Campbell's head. And a free kick eventually to Fulham. to take it Earl's head number one beautifully Friday free kick from Johnny Haynes Steve Earl's goal his eighth goal of the season to Lloyd Lloyd again on to Kala to Brown Bad mistake there between Haydock and Griffiths gives a chance for Barrett to turn it inside to Haynes and Haynes straight out to Conway. This is good by Fulham. Conway a little bit slow. And he gets his goal! It looked as though Jimmy Conway had completely thrown that away. Looked as though he delayed much too long after Haynes had put him clear. But gets his 13th goal of the season. Now into the second half. Well, again. Still in possession. Brown Griffiths. Pulled back for Haynes. And touched in. No, not quite touched in by Lloyd. Slid away eventually by Danny Campbell. There's a pedigree about this Fulham passing in the penalty area that the county are finding difficult to cope with. Barrett with the corner. Conway. Ogley trying to put his legs in the way of it and it's turned in by Earl. Terrible mess up there by the county defence. Ogley feeling perhaps that he couldn't get his hands to it. Tried to turn the ball away with his legs. And so Earl gets number three. Quarter of an hour to go. Goal kick to county. Straight to Barrett. Callahan, Haydock, Brown, out to Conway. Lloyd, Conway following up to pick up the loose one. Brown, Horn, and Earl. Well saved, Earl again, well saved again, Earl again, and that time! You won't see it better done on Blackpool Pier. Three shots, and the third one going in to give Steve Earle his hat-trick and to put Fulham 4-0 in the lead. Three men in the centre. Morton at the back of the box there, just turned off his head by the substitute for Fulham, Mick Pentecost. Price. What a trial. But too hard with his cross. And a chance here, number nine, John Rowland scores the first for Stockport County. And that's how it finished, 4-1 to Fulham. Do you realise now they've scored 27 goals this season and only Liverpool in the four divisions can match that. Now before we come to our last bit of action on the programme today, I know an old Fulham player, Jimmy Hill, wants to get in a word about his old team. I don't like all those olds, Brian, but <laughs> nevertheless, <laughs> I'm delighted, needless to say, to see Fulham doing so well. But one of the things that I've noticed particularly from this programme, I don't know whether other people have, is that we've seen matches from first, second and third divisions in the programme, and it's been most noticeable the difference that there has been in the pace of each division, in the, the speed of each player, the control of the players, and the number of mistakes that are made. In fact, um, there was the one Fulham goal which Stephen Earle got, 
uh, where he had three bites at the cherry, three chances to get the ball in the back of the net. And although you may say the goalkeeper did well to get that far, there were other players around the place who could have got it away and would have done, I think, in a higher division. Here it is now. Look, there's the first one. That was a good save. There's another one. They're still struggling. It looks as if only the goalkeeper's playing and the other defenders are just walking around there, looking, getting ready to moan. I think number five there looked the most miserable player I've ever seen.